Hey guys, it's Mr. EJ's Tech here, and today I got lesson three of Java tutorials. And today we're going to be going over getting input from the console. So um, basically, what you need for this tutorial is some basic knowledge of variables and output. So I'm going to be showing you how to use a package, which is going to be the scanner package. I'm going to show you how to import it and how to actually make a new object. So um, this concept is used first of all when you're taking input from the console but also when you're making new objects and you're also doing different classes so I'm going to go ahead and go into this SRC right here um, as we covered in other tutorials we're just going to go ahead and make a new class so we're just going to call this lesson 3 I guess that works and then we're going to start with our main method alright and once we have that method we're going to actually go up to the very top above a public class of lesson 3. You see right this, right there. And we can go up here and we're going to import this package. And this is the Java package and it's a utility. So java.util.uppercase s c a n n e r and then end it off with a semicolon. So once you have these two things, you're actually going to want to make your object. So the way Scanner works, it's it's kind of like if you had another class. If you had another class right here, um, it kind of like works the same way. If there's somewhere else in uh, your Java libraries that says Scanner and it tells what it does. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to say Scanner. So we're calling Scanner right there. And we're going to call it a keyboard. So we just made the object keyboard and this keyboard can be whatever we're going to make it la 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 we can do whatever but well, I'm just going to call it keyboard and then we're going to say equals new and we're going to say scanner we're again saying scanner and then we're going to do in the parameters system dot in so this is allowing us to take the input from the console so you can see right there it compiles and uh, this right here can be whatever you want as you can see and we can go ahead and call that and I'm going to show you how to actually use it so we're going to bring in that back and make a keyboard again alright and next thing we have to do is we have to ask for the output so we're going to start with an output um, line so system.out.println um, enter your age and then what you can do, you can either initialize your variables um, beforehand, as we do right there. We can say age equals keyboard. We're saying the object, keyboard, keyboard, same word, dot, next. And then we're going to say int. And then we end it off, and it actually has little parameters, and those parameters are empty. So now we're going to put like a little, let's see here, we can comment this. We're going to put a little check. And then we're going to output the value of age. So go ahead and do that. Put the variable inside. And now we're going to go ahead and run it. And of course, it prompts you for your age. So you go ahead and say log whatever that is. And it's going to print out what you just said. And just so that we can be sure that's coming from there, we can go ahead and say you entered, put some of that, format it, and now let's try it one more time just so you can kind of get the idea. So there you can see that we just took input, we set it equal to age, and we outputted it. So this is used in so many different things. So whether you're asking, you can make it like calculations, or, or if you're making like kind of like a Unix script, and you're asking the user for different parameters, different things. So it's really good to know how to use Scanner and also know how to use objects. So the two main concepts you should bring from this, or actually three, is how to import a package, that's one, two, how to make a new object, and three, how to use Scanner class. So uh, Scanner, again, it's just so useful because you can also do it with, let's go ahead and say string uh, equals, or string, we're going to say string uh, law equals uh, keyboard, you can say dot next, uh, key, it has a lot of different functions, you can do keyboard dot next line, that compiles or key and we can make sure we spell that right 
smell our, uh, spell our object right and we can do keyboard at next line keyboard dot next or we can also do keyboard dot next double and then we would have to change this over here to a double so a double type and if you don't know what a double is um, you should probably check out my other tutorial where I went over variable types so double lot equals keyboard dot next double so uh, now we can go ahead and enter a um, decimal point and it'll give us um, it'll allow us to put in that decimal point so we're gonna say you said this and then I'm gonna say plus la and we'll end that now we're just gonna run it and we're gonna show you that you can use this 57 point whatever you said this you can see that right there and so scanner is very it's it's awesome because you can actually get input and then you also learn the concept, concepts of other things. So it's good to learn at the beginning when you're starting to learn Java. So again, um, I'm going to show you one more type. Um, so string uh, law equals keyboard.next. And we got to go ahead and say system.out.println entered and then plus law now here we go keyboard dot next and keyboard dot next is it says the next um, like set of characters without a space so we're gonna say hi there my name is Andrew and what it picks up is hi so the way you can pick up a whole entire line is next line you guessed it so it's not that complicated but and go ahead and say that. Hi, my name is Andrew. And you can see right there that, hi, my name is Andrew. So that was showing you how to use um, the scanner class. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it wasn't too long. And uh, the scanner class is very important for later things, learning how to do objects, and going over those three main um, concepts from this lesson. Using scanner, importing um, classes, and then three, making new objects. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope these videos were very helpful to you.